Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanika and in today's video we are going to be doing round two of the curls battle where I'm testing which hot tool provides the best curls. Uh, in the first video I used a straightener to provide the curls and in today's video I am going to be using a curling iron. I am going to make sure I do the same steps as last time. So for prep, I'll quickly go over that. I shampooed my hair twice with my Joyco Hydra Splash Shampoo. I conditioned my hair for 30 minutes with my Tresemme conditioner. The one I always use is the Moisture Renewal. This time I use the Ultimate Hydration one because I was out of the other one. I applied my Cantu Leave-In moisturizer and then blow dried my hair. I will be sure to leave in the description box a link to my wash day routine. It's the same thing I did this time. So I blow dried my hair and then I sectioned it off and put it in these loose braids just like in round one. So this is where we're going to be starting off. So my hair is freshly washed and ready to go. So I am using the Babyliss Babyliss curling iron. It's the same brand as my blue hair straightener. It's from Amazon. I will also link it in the description box with the look below as well as the size that it is. I prefer the bigger barrel because my hair is longer and thicker. It goes up to a temperature of 40. I am going to put it on the highest setting and I already have it turned on and it's heated up and ready to go. So I am going to be working from the back of my head towards the front. This time I have a center part instead of a side part. So I am going to pin up the front portions and unravel the first section. So I am unraveling my braid, just a loose braid. I am going to brush it out and comb it out, make sure there's no tangles from sleeping. So the mistake that I made in round two was making my sections a little bit too big. Um, but for the back of my head, I don't mind if the sections are big and the curls are loose. So I'm going to still do maybe about an inch section and then I will pin the rest up. In round one with the straightener, I straightened my hair and then I would curl it. In this, I am just going to lightly run the section through the plate and the barrel just to take out any of those waves from the braid. And then I am going to curl. So I will mention it has been quite some time since I have curled my hair using a actual curling iron, probably mm, three, four years, probably since my wedding in 2018. So I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Not bad. The curl is loose. In round one, I immediately sprayed each section with hairspray afterwards. For this round, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'll probably just spray a couple sections at a time. So I'm going to do another section. Comb through. Lightly run the section of hair over the barrel. So for this, I am putting the hair flat. I'm not uh, winding, it up, winding it up or twirling it. I do want the hair to lay flat in the barrel. And I put the hair all the way to the bottom of the barrel, run it all the way to the bottom, to the ends, and then slowly curl upwards. Because my hair is long, I do try to make sure that the hair is as far down on the barrel as possible. Hold it for maybe 10 seconds or so. I don't want to hold it too long and risk heat damage because it is at the highest setting. 
and then I will press the button to loosen up the plate from the barrel and slowly let it go. So not the greatest curl, but it is a nice loose curl. So I am going to continue with the rest of my hair, put a timer on, and I will check in in a little bit. done curling my hair I have turned the curling iron off I'm super hot super tired that took a long time but when I do my review I will say the total time it did take um, just a quick tip when you are doing heated curling styles it is helpful to pin the curls up as you go along and let the curls cool down for as long as you can as when the hair cools down it's more likely to stay formed in that shape. So that's why you see a lot of people when they curl their hair, they pin it up versus just curling it and leaving it down. Gravity takes effect quickly with your hair when it is still warm. So I'm gonna keep my hair pinned up and I will be back in a little bit to do a review. Okay, so I am back. I have had my hair uh, pinned up in the curls for about an hour so I'm just going to take the clips down and we're going to see what it all looks like definitely took more clips than I realized but that's okay I have mixed thoughts, but I will wait till they are all taken down. Okay. 
I'm being more gentle than I was. So this is what the hair looks like. I think I am probably going to fluff it out a little bit. So these are the curls. <laughs> They're not much of a curl, um, but this is what it looks like. I think for me personally, maybe because my hair is so long and thick, the curls, my hair doesn't hold a curl very well. I find that like the, the weight of my hair pulls the curl down very quickly. But it's not it's not a hundred percent terrible. It's not what I thought it would give. It's not giving what I wanted it to give. We'll say that. But I will kind of brush them out a little bit. I don't want to brush it out too more. But this is what it looks like. I am going to do a side part. Maybe it's the, the center part that's kind of throwing off my opinion of it. So categories like last time, the first was look. So how well did the curls actually turn out using the curling iron? I would say on a scale of one to five, five being the highest, one being the lowest in terms of how much I liked it. The curls are like a two and a half, a three. I can definitely tell that these curls would not wouldn't last 24 hours. Even if I was to leave um, the curling iron in my hair for a longer amount of time during each section, and even if I was to use more hairspray, I can tell that the curls wouldn't last. So this is definitely like a, a same day hairstyle. If I had somewhere to go, um, this is what it would look like and it probably wouldn't even make it to the end of an event. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I would try it again, maybe, but I don't think if I had to choose so far between the curls from the straightener and the curls from the curling iron, I don't think I would choose this. I probably would prefer to choose the straightener to get curls in my hair. So I'm going to give you a little bit more of a close up so you can see. still very fluffy it's more of a loose curl so it's not terrible it's just it's, it's more of a loose curl and give you a quick shot of the back as well so yeah most of the curls kind of stay around the lower portion of my hair and I would like to mention that using the curling iron makes it extremely difficult to get the roots flat and smooth. So as you can tell, there's so much thickness and fullness and vol volume um, at like the first three, four inches of my hair coming down. Um, so if you're somebody who probably wants maybe a smoother, sleeker look, the curling iron makes it hard to get that kind of results straight from the roots downwards. I feel like the ends look a lot better than the top portion of my hair. So that would definitely take a little bit of finessing to kind of make it look a little bit better. So the second category that we have is difficulty. I would say that using the curling iron was 100% easier for me than using the hair straightener if you watch that video, you would see that I had a lot of moments of tugging when running the hair straightener through the hair um, when it when the strands were curled in, in it. Um, compared to using this, the curling iron, I felt that my strands easily glided between the barrel and the plate. And both of these are by the same company and the same type of material. It's just that there was so much tugging and pulling with the straightener. It didn't feel comfortable. This felt super easy um, and gentle on my hair. It also felt really simple with my wrist. 
straightener. I just couldn't seem to get the, the hand motions the easy uh, or the way I want to, even though the curls did come out better, the, the hand motions were more difficult for this. It was just very simple, very robotic. I didn't have to think too much about it. So I would say for difficulty, this was a five out of five. And then for time, the last category, it took about an hour. Um, and it took a little bit longer with the straightener. So about an hour is not terrible. Maybe if I did spend a little bit of extra time keeping the curling iron in my hair for longer during, during each section, and if I did make the sections a little bit smaller, it would obviously take more time and the curls would come out maybe a little bit more defined. Um, but I also want to make sure I don't use any heat tool in my hair for too long as I want to prevent heat damage. I feel like after this curl battle, I'm going to need some Olaplex to replenish the structure of my strands. But overall, it's not a terrible, terrible look. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. If you like these curls, I would say they're... They're more like loose beach waves, thick, loose beach waves. But let me know your thoughts, your opinions. If you have any tips, especially on how to wrap the section up um, when you're done curling each piece, how to wrap them up in a way that is easy and helps the curl stay longer. Leave some tips for me below. So I will see you in round three. I think round three, I will either try one of the older curling wands that I have, or I may buy a new one, or I may use my Revlon hair curler. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.